In this demo, we're going to create a custom channel tab that displays information about the current user, which is retrieved from Microsoft Graph. The tab created in this project is going to submit a request to Microsoft Graph to retrieve email messages. Now, a request to Microsoft Graph must include an access token as proof of the user's identity and that they have the necessary permissions to call Microsoft Graph. To obtain an access token, you must create an Azure Active Directory application that has the necessary Microsoft Graph permissions. So I'm going to start by opening up a browser and navigating to the Azure Active Directory Admin Center at aad.portal.azure.com. I'm going to select the Active Directory uh, node here on the left-hand side in the navigation, and then I'm going to select Application Registrations. I'm going to then select a new registration. So I'm going to call this my Teams Graph tab. The supported account types, I'm just going to use the single tenant. And my redirect URL is, I'm, it's going to be https drewconnell.ingrock.io slash authn.html. And remember, each time ingrock starts, it generates a new random subdomain. Um, Azure Active Directory requires that the redirect URI is specified in the app registration. So you're going to need to return to this app registration to add or change the redirect URI after I start ingrock. However, I'm using a commercial version of Ingrock that is a license associated with it. Uh, and I'm using the subdomain that for me won't change. But if you're using the free version, that subdomain uh, is going to change every time you restart Ingrock. So you're going to have to come back and update this property. Now, I'm going to go ahead and grab a couple things here. So I'm going to open up uh, the client ID is something that I'm going to need. So I'm going to go ahead and open up VS Code. And I'm going to create a new uh, file here, and I'm just going to go ahead and pass in the client ID. And then I know I'm also going to get the client. Uh, we'll just leave client ID for right now. So I know we're going to need that in a, in a minute. Now, let's go back to the browser. And under the redirect uh, URIs, I'm going to come in here, and I'm going to grant the implicit grant on access tokens and ID tokens. This is going to tell Azure AD to return these tokens uh, to the authenticated user if they are requested. So I'm then going to save those changes. Now let's go ahead and let's add the permissions. So I'm going to select the API permissions. I'm going to select add a permission. I'm going to choose Microsoft Graph. These are going to be delegated permissions. And I'm going to add in the mail.read uh, permissions. I'm going to select that and choose mail.read and then select add permission. Now, the user is going to have to consent to this app to use these permissions, but I, just in the interest of making this demo a little bit simpler, I'm going to go ahead and grant um, admin consent uh, on behalf of all users in the organization to this app. So they, they get both of these permissions. So I don't have to worry about going through that process. Okay, now that that's done, let's now go in and create our Microsoft Teams app. So I'm going to come over here and go into my dev folder and create a new folder called auth tab and then navigate into that folder. All right, now let's go ahead and let's run the Yeoman generator. So it's going to start by asking me what do I want to name the app. So I'm going to call this my learn MS Teams auth tabs. I'm going to use the current folder. Um, the name of my tab is going to be learn MS Teams auth tabs. Uh, the company, I'll just leave it as Contoso. The version, 1.8. I will accept quick scaffolding. It's going to be a tab. We don't care about the URL. I'll choose the default option for a loading indicator. Um, and then we're going to call the tab Learn Auth Tab. This is going to be a configurable tab that's going to go in a team. And then I'm just going to choose No for these other options. The tab that I'm creating in this demo uh, is going to get the latest emails from the current user's mailbox using Microsoft Graph. So I need to install the Microsoft Graph JavaScript SDK and the associated TypeScript type declarations for Microsoft Graph in the project. So I'm going to do that by typing in npm install at Microsoft slash Microsoft Graph client. These, this is the actual uh, JavaScript SDK. And then I'm also going to do npm install at types Microsoft Graph and then do the same thing. 
Now let's go ahead and let's open our project up in VS Code. So I'm gonna come over here to VS Code and let's open the project up. Let's actually, let's make sure we keep track of this ID. We're gonna to want to this in just a minute. So I'm gonna go ahead and open this up, open our project up again. And then I'll just put it in another file right here. There we go, so there's our client ID, that's our app. Now, I wanna update the import statements. Let's go find our tab. All right, so here's our learn tab. So what I wanna do is I wanna update the import statements in this file to include components that I'm gonna use in the configuration tab. So after the header that you see listed right here, we're also gonna add in a list component um, as well. And then furthermore, I wanna go ahead and grab some icons. So let's go ahead and let's say import uh, from at fluent, put that in quotes, fluent UI, slash react email or icons dash north star. And then I'm gonna say that we wanna import the email icon. Fluent UI, I misspelled that, so we'll fix that real quick. And these are react dash icons slash north star. So now I can implement the user interface for the tab. So the simple tab um, has a basic interface. It presents a list of email messages for the current user and a button to begin the request. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add the, a couple import statements uh, for Microsoft Graph. So I'm gonna say import everything uh, as Microsoft Graph Client from at Microsoft Graph Client, there's one. And then I'm gonna do an import everything as Microsoft Graph from Microsoft Graph as well. So that's those are the type declarations uh, right there. Now I need to update the state of the components to store email messages that are returned from Graph. So I'm gonna come over here on the, our, um, where I have my existing uh, entity ID um, state value and I'm gonna have a new one called messages and set messages. And this is gonna be use state and we're gonna pass in a Microsoft Graph message array. Now, the next thing we're gonna do is let's update the UX for this. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna scroll down, find the return method, and we're gonna remove this return method and we're gonna replace it with this one that you see here. So this return method um, displays a button that you can see right here um, for the user to select, to sign in and request their emails from Microsoft Graph. And then it's gonna display them in this uh, list that you see here. So what we need to do is we need to implement this on-click handler. So I'm gonna create a new uh, hook event called use or uh, const handle on-click. And this is gonna be an async uh, let's pass an async uh, function that's gonna pass in uh, the event. And this is gonna return. Await get messages. All right. Oh. We, haven't, we haven't created that one yet. We're gonna create that in just a moment. 